Hey, what's up guys? Vic here. Hope you're having a nice, productive Thursday morning. It's a little gloomy here in New York, but that's fine. Most importantly, the video is here. The Dive Bomber push-up video. Also would like to remind you guys that for 2019, when it comes to push-ups in my personal workouts, I'm only going to be aiming to do Dive Bombers. That's it. Nothing else as in nothing else, no regular push-ups, no other variation of the push-up. I believe that the dive bomber is the most difficult push-up, at least for me as of right now, and I would really like to get to those high reps and at the end of the year make a consecutive dive bomber push-up video to see how many I can hit. So before we begin, let me just talk a little bit about the formatting of my videos. What I want to experiment with is me doing the exercise. I already have footage for you guys to see from each angle, to comment, to criticize. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking over it. Hopefully it doesn't sound too erotic. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get to the action. Alright guys, so in order to perform the dive bomber push-up correctly, we need to take the position of widening both of our arms and our legs. So our arms are going to be wider than shoulder width, and our legs will be spread out as well. Now compared to a regular push-up, you'd want to keep that all nice and tight to not injure your shoulders. However, because of the certain position of the dive bomber, it actually is more beneficial and not hurtful. Now, if you notice, my lower back is shot up in the air. I'm looking at the ground. Now, once you've established this position, next thing you want to do is literally dive into the mat. Obviously, don't hit your face <laughs> as, you're, as you lower yourself. But you want to dive in and slowly dive out almost pressing your chest up against the floor. I would say there should be about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of distance between the floor and your chest for optimal results. And after that, you just want to shoot right back up, keeping your lower body, your butt and your hips nice and tight, close to the ground as you stretch out and look in front. Don't look up, look forward. Now remember, this does not count as one dive bomber push-up. You need to do the next motion in order for it to be one. So now you're going to just retrace your steps. You're going to do the same thing, but backwards. Just as you've dived in, now you're going to dive back out, shooting your hips up, your butt up, flexing your arms and looking at the ground, keeping your body nice and tight. Finally, one of the most important parts of this exercise is the breathing. As you dive in, deep breath in. As you dive out, deep breath out. These are some of the most important factors when it comes to the dive bomber. So there it is guys. That was the first workout video from my channel in a very long time. Really appreciate it to all those who stuck around and who are still my fans and subscribers to this day. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, do not hesitate to leave a comment below. You could private message me. I will most definitely do my best to reply. And I have been getting a lot of questions already about how to do many, many, many push-ups and what's your diet. So I will address these two issues in the next two upcoming videos. Take care guys, stay disciplined, stay fit.